Hi everyone, Petra here with Petra's Creative Plans. So today we are going to be doing a spread in my big vertical wellness journal. And so today I have pulled out some orange and blue washi tapes. This one's got a little polka dot on it. And we are going to be pulling in the Roy G. Biv Volume 2 sticker book by Kelva Plan. Let's get started. <music> Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've pulled my pages out. And so what I'm going to do, the florals that I want to use today are these, I've reused them once before, so I want to go back in and use um, these orange and blue florals. I thought that they were kind of a nice mix of fall slash winter. Um, it is still fall, but we are supposed to get our first day of snow today. Whether or not that happens, we shall see. So I thought the combination of the oranges for fall and these blues and whites for winter were quite fitting. So before we jump into those florals, though, I do want to start off with some washi tape. And I think we're just going to do a very simple spread today. So I'm going to take this blue spotted washi tape. And I'm going to run this right along the bottom here of this line, all the way across. A very sticky washi tape. Oh, kind of pulled up my paper a bit there, that's okay. And we will do the same thing on this side here. So we've got that done. Now I want to bring in some of these florals. And we won't have quite enough to make it all the way across. But that's okay. It makes it almost all the way so I'm not gonna stick it down too hard because I am gonna trim this little excess off here and where did my tweezers disappear to Still didn't cut it enough. One second. I just grabbed a different blade. I think I need to put a new blade on that exacto knife handle. There we go. That's better. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side here. Okay. 
Okay. And we've got the space in here. Now I could take kind of like some of this to try and dip it to fill it in. Um, that would be an option. This one doesn't want to let go, you guys. My goodness. There we go. I also have this one where I could, you know, cut off a certain bit of this to do here. Um, and finish that off, and I might do that. I might just cut some off and just... Kind of fill this in. It's not a perfect little match. It actually doesn't even match at all. I don't like that. It's very obvious. Let's see. I need to be able to tie this in a little bit more. take this one right and I just kind of I want to add that blue up in there like that and then if I have this kind of coming in so much. Sorry, I've got to move this here a bit. So if I had this, not quite as much of that there. More like that. But not this. Where's my scissors? We need to do some sticker surgery. I have some small ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this sticker here so that I don't have that dark piece there. And because they're clear stickers, we can do this. We can just layer them. And that looks a little better. Just cut this extra bit off the back. Okay, that's better. That's not so noticeable now. I mean, you can still tell that you did that, but if a person didn't know, it's not going to jump out at them by the time we're done. Okay, I like that. Then we've got this one over here. Which we can bring in here under this November. Uh, let's first go move that back down. I'm just fixing my washi tape, it started tearing there. And so let's just put this here under the November, just to kind of accent that a bit. Okay. Like that. 
And then this one's going to come right in underneath here. Like that. Good. Oh, got a wrinkle in it. No wrinkles, please. Let's try again. There we go. That's better. No wrinkles. Okay. I'm liking that so far. And you know, guys, I use a lot of florals in this one, but that's because it's my journal. And I love it. I love having the florals in here. I think they're just beautiful. Um, I am going to take this sort of muted orange here. We're going to put this in here. It's sort of a little bit of layering going on where I can do some gratitude. I like doing that sometimes, a little bit of layering. Let's get some more florals happening down here. Ooh, now I want to. Grab this one and kind of have it coming out from underneath that one. I think I really like that. Okay, let's cut this before it gets stuck down. Or instead of cutting it, might we might just well, I think we're stuck cutting it now. I was gonna try and lift that other box up, but let's just try this way. That's working. Okay, good. That worked. We'll do that. Kind of like in that. And then we can just have this little bit pop out of here. And just cut that. Sorry if my head got in the shot there. Sometimes when I'm looking at these little details. I don't think about where my head is at and next thing you know it's in your view. Okay. Good. I'm liking that quite a bit. So one thing that's nice with these florals is that they just make it so beautiful and effortless to do a nice spread like this. Now I do want to bring in um, some other little boxes here. And so I'm going to make the, some of my own boxes and you guys will have seen this before. So I'm probably going to go ahead and fast forward this process.
All right, so now the last thing I want to do is just, I may as well use up the last of these florals. There's not too many left. So we've got a couple of these. And I'm just going to kind of cut them a little bit and we'll kind of add them in here or there. that we can add this one in underneath there and just take that extra sticker part off we've got a little bit more in here here. This one, what I want to do with this one is I want to cut just a little bit off along the bottom to make a straight edge. I'm going to take my um, Signal White gel pen and we're going to take out this line here. Sometimes I like having a big box over the weekend in this journal just where I can kind of highlight something from the weekend, you know. So we go like that. We've got one more here. Let's see. my light sorry put that half up there and this half underneath I like that okay fabulous and now the big question is always to put lines or not to put lines and I'm thinking for this one I am NOT going to put in lines so let's get this onto the discs and there you have it that is my finished spread i hope you guys have enjoyed this one thank you for joining me as always don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future content um and i'll be happy to put a little link up here for some of my other plan with me videos um, and I can put one on this side, maybe with some flip throughs or something, if you want to check some of that out. Have a great day, guys.